the call or a whisper in the wind When you fly and when you fall You can hear the voice within From wherever you may stand From whichever point Joy to the <laughs> rhythm of the soul With Ooh. Ash Ruiz <laughs> <laughs> Beloved sister Fada Shakti Mia, everyone listening and watching Such a joy to be here Honored, honored, honored <laughs> Wow. So we go back from 2006 when the rhythm of my soul got to listen to the rhythm of your soul and your mission and your words of great wisdom. And so to be here now in this time to reconnect and to share in the rhythm of your soul that connects with the rhythm of Rhythmia and the rhythm of everyone's soul that's yeah. tuned in. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, que rico, que rico, que rico. <laughs> okay, let, 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 let's, 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 let's tune back to the rhythm yes. of your soul. From uh, such a young age, the rhythm of the soul really chose you. So tell us about this rhythm. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, I was really, really fortunate to grow up a family um, that really honored our, our, our ancestors and, and cultures. So my father being Cuban and my being, being Italian and, and England and her great, great, great grandmother having somebody from Northern Africa. And so it was always about them and dancing and a lot of the sensual dancing undulations and and shimmies and shoulders and and bounces and so just that aliveness, just that 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 um, that passion, that allowing the body to to be its wild, untamed, glorious self. You know, I feel really blessed to always have that present. And, and you know, I had some experiences, kind of like you know, uh, just shattered the veil. You know, at, at certain moments, and um, I feel so 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 blessed to to be able to, to live this life to, and live a life that is completely at the feet of being of service and inviting anyone who's, who's resonating and willing to listen and excited to listen uh, to discover the own, their own soul. Mm -hmm. mm. So Ash, I know that it's not only through the millions and thousands of concerts, live concerts that you have journeyed <laughs> and been in service mm -hmm. to, it's also through leading satsang and through yeah. you know, holding that type of space. So how also yeah. did you get into that rhythm of stepping into the spiritual teacher that you are? Oh, thank you. Um, well, you know, you know, being a part of this boy band, traveling all over the world was so huge. And then I was, I'm so thankful that there was a moment of race. So we went to film a video in Machu Picchu of a song called Bienvenidos al Nuevo Mundo, which means welcome to the new world. Oh, and so sing a little bit that, of that. Sing, sing, sing a little oh, bit of that. Oh, bienvenidos al nuevo mundo, todos unidos. Dos viviendo juntos, bienvenidos al nuevo mundo, requete, requete mundo, requete, requete mundo. <laughs> so, yes, we go to film this video, and as soon as I step off the helicopter, this was a couple of months after my father had passed away. So I'm about 16 years old, and I had one of those moments where everything that I was familiar with the backseat and the aware, infinite, loving presence of this moment, the volume was turned all the way up. I could still make out Machu Picchu and ruins and llamas and camera crew, but it was so clear that nothing had an independent nature. And from that moment on, instead of being someone here and a world outside or someone here and a universe outside there or someone here and a God outside there, everything flipped on itself and I noticed, oh my goodness, all is so happening in my own heart. Every human being now and that I will ever meet is appearing in the intimacy of my own being. This universe appearing in the intimacy of my own being, you know, so really, really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was, you know, life has a way of, of making that deeper. Yes. Sorry. I mean, that definitely is, you know, it definitely is the path of unconditional love. And I feel like, uh, you know, the lyrics that have, have channeled through you is that evocation mm -hmm. of unconditional love. 
um, oh, because yeah, boy, yeah. every single time I came and watched you in concert or even just in your presence, I learned how to fall in love even more with creator and myself and the world. Oh, beautiful. So you really, you really walk with that. Oh, thank you, love. That's so, just so sweet. And we'll sing about walking with that a little later. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the path of plant medicine, I know that that also yes. played a very big part with mm -hmm. the rhythm of your soul. Absolutely. I was the Menudo member that, you know, found out about shamans and plant medicine. So this was back in 1994, 93. And I would ask fans to, you know, that had an uncle that knew a shaman. I would sneak me out of the hotel and I'd go and I'd do san pedro example with these beloveds and then i'd be snuck back into the hotel to go right away to their early morning radio shows or the morning tv shows with a little hint of san pedro still in my being <laughs> and then as soon as i left the group i was i really wanted to discover you know i was in a contract for six years so I mean, when i left the group i moved back to peru so i could just take my time and just really be with the experience of that vastness that I experienced at Machu Picchu and get familiar with that. And then I was led to Iquitos. And while I was in Iquitos, I met some anthropologists who invited me to an ayahuasca ceremony with a beloved group of Indians called the Shuar. And um, because I was already so in love with this unmoving vastness, it was amazing to have the experience of ayahuasca, um, but recognize you know, that even though there's a powerful shift in perception, the perceptual poetry that appears, the sensations that appears, the reframing of our identities and of our lives and of our pasts and our experiences, that the ground of being is never touched by the medicine. Awareness never touched by psilocybin, DMT, Iboga, you know, awareness remains totally present and vast and stable and clear. Um, so that was really beautiful confirmation during powerful ayahuasca moments in, in the rainforest back in 1996. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so with the wisdom that you receive from, you know, the rhythm of your soul with the plant yeah. medicine, all that you have, have conjured up today, <laughs> what would be some uh, tips for our beautiful viewers that you could attune us to so that we can connect to that journey of the rhythm of our soul. Oh, beautiful. Well, you know, it's kind of like we innocently are taught to either reach for something or push something away. So let's say we have an afflictive state or we have an afflictive sensation or feeling or just, you know, we kind of want to do everything we can to energetically run from it or, 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 or change it or alter it or avoid it. And, you know, to be in the rhythm of the moment is to consider the option to maybe dance with it. Have you ever seen the beloved's that do the improv contact dancing mm -hmm. and to dance with it um it's just to take a moment to allow that particular rhythm even however strange it might be or, you know to just exist in the moment when we allow our minds to be as they are and dance as they want to dance it's kind of like the dance floor isn't looking at all the different rhythms and all the different you know everybody's got they something all the different flows and the you know dance floor is saying no you can't dance like that no nope, not like that the dance floor is like give me everything Get, you know, however you move, it's welcome. However you 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 vibe is welcome. And to recognize that's an aspect of your being. You are vast, aware, conscious intelligence, not at all looking for an umbrella during a rainstorm. Mm -hmm. And that's something we can rely on and get familiar with and then live from in our everyday lives, which is hysterical. <laughs> our dancing, you know, the dance of liberation. So it is about exactly what you said is, you know, partnering up with yourself because you do yeah. wear a blindfold. Yeah. Liberation and finding that unique, unique voice, that unique rhythm that then you can take off the dance floor. So I love. I you, love that. Yes. yes, I love how you just, uh, you know, clarified how getting into the rhythm of yourself and your soul is through that movement. Movement. Uh, it's such a beautiful we, option. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So beautiful. Well, you know, um, Ash, you know, I know that we could, um, as a satsang, uh, 
teacher that you are, we could be on call for, for many, many hours and answer many, many lifelong soul uh, rhythmic <laughs> questions. Um, is there any last thing that you want to say before we actually go into the live little concert that we're going to end with? <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you, you know, to all the beloveds that are showing up in such unique ways. You know, it's like your medicine is needed. Your medicine, including your life experiences, positive, negative, neutral, whatever they might be, whatever your interpretation, your unique soul print is so needed. And you're here right now. And I am grateful for you and, and send you so much love and gratitude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to give a little bit of a quick um, uh -huh. history about this song that I um, vouched for. I said, can you... This song. Yay! <laughs> um, so this this song actually um when we went back into the editing room for the full feature documentary of dance of liberation to actually put rhythmia into the closing of this movie so cool <laughs> we also put in this song that ash is about Yay! so it literally is featuring at the end of dance of liberation which you can catch on youtube for free <laughs> you can see how this mm -hmm. song really allows for you to take the journey of what you experienced here with the moment in time that we spent together <laughs> and then how to take it and walk with it out in the world. So with that, I welcome you to close our ceremonial time together <laughs> with Walk so With Me. Walk With Me, yay. <laughs> Have you heard the call, a whisper in the wind? When you fly or when you fall, you can hear the voice within. From wherever you may stand, to whichever point on earth, the spirit in your hands is a moment's giving birth to infinite possibilities to love and serve mankind, your brother and your sister. We're all the same inside. Walk with me, 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 walk with me. On the waking journey, we each have our own mountains, we each have our own paths. We speak in the same language when we cry and when we laugh. Our children are our children. They each deserve a chance to blossom into flowers. For every breath's an invitation to either love or fear. As God said, there is no way to peace. This peace is here. Oh, yes, walk with me. Gotta walk with me. Thank you for walking by the shakti. Thank you for walking with me, yeah. All the lives that you touch, all the hearts that you support, and finding their own way of massaging this earth, their own way of massaging this earth with their beautiful toes and feet and the soles of their love. Thank you on the awakened journey. <laughs> Yay! Like Ramda says, we're all walking each other home. <laughs> Just the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> Ash, I am so grateful for this mutual walk that we've had all these years. Me too. <laughs> and you bring, you bring such joy, such beauty, <laughs> such grace, such oh. wisdom to this world. Thank and you, so, love. Thank you so much for joining our tribe today. Such an honor. Thank you, my beloved sister. It's such a joy to reflect that light. Yay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Next Friday. <laughs>